tis the season of the Sephora holiday savings event. This video is gonna kick off a week plus of lots of Sephora product talk. I'm so excited. I got to shop the event early because today's video is actually sponsored by Sephora. I've had the pleasure of working with Sephora numerous times now for this event and every time I say this it really is a dream come true to directly partner with the number one place where I buy makeup, the number one place where I feature brands from on my channel. So I'm really excited. Don't worry, I will be shopping the event again November 5th with the rest of you. But let's go over the holiday saving events details before we get into the stuff that I picked out. So first and foremost, in order to shop the event, you must be a Sephora Beauty Insider. It's completely free to sign up. I will put the link down below if you would like to sign up. There are three tiers. So Sephora Rouge members, you guys are going to get first access. So if you are Rouge, you are able to shop the sale November 5th up until the very end, November 15th. I will say a lot of the good items sell out really fast during this event. So if you are Rouge, no matter what tier you are, if there's something that you're really eyeing, make sure you have it in your basket ready to go. I can guarantee the good stuff will probably sell out. And what's awesome about being a Rouge, I think this is the first time that they've had this, you can actually bring a friend in store and they will also get 20% off. They do need to be a Beauty Insider member, but it doesn't matter what tier they are. And you can do that November 5th and 6th. So bring a friend with you if you're Rouge, make sure they're a Beauty Insider and they can also get that 20% taken off at checkout. Fabulous. The next tier is going to be the VIB members. Now you guys are able to shop November 9th to the 15th and you will get 15% off. And then if you are an insider, the event is going to open up November 11th and you will be able to shop until 11.15. And at this point, all tiers will be able to shop the event. If you are an insider, you will be getting 10% off. And make sure when you guys shop online, you use the code YAYHOLIDAY. Discount is available for multi-use online and in store. Discount does not apply to taxes, shipping, or other fees, and some limitations may apply. Oh, and also on top of that, all Sephora collection stuff is going to be 30% off. I actually did a video on Sephora collection if you want to check that out to see what the hits and the misses were from the brand because this is the best time to shop from Sephora collection. There are so many ways for you to stock up on this event. You can buy in store, online, or even online pickup as well. This event only happens twice a year and I cover it every time. It's my favorite event to do a bunch of videos on. I try so many products from Sephora. I feel like the reason that I try so much makeup from Sephora is to gear up for this promotion. <laughs> I'm pumped. So all of the products that I'm going to be featuring in today's video will be linked down below for your convenience. Click on them add stuff to your cart, get ready. And if you do choose to shop through my links, I do receive a small commission which goes back into helping my channel and providing and continuing to provide you guys with the content that I create. And without further ado, let's get into the goods. So this one, I'm not gonna lie. I originally bought it as a gift for you guys, but I think once the event opens up, I'm gonna buy another one because I've decided I'm gonna keep some things for myself. So this is the Sephora Favorites Beauty Must Have Everyday Best Sellers set. You guys, this is definitely one of the best holiday sets I've ever seen. It's $54 to start and then with the additional discount, whatever it may be, bomb deal. I mean, right here, my eye immediately went to the Beauty Blender, which is like $20 on its own. So this is already a great deal because I get a beauty blender in here. We have the Baby Biba from Natasha Denona. We have a Grande Lash Lash Enhancing Serum, which is awesome. My mom actually uses this and it was working for her lashes, so I think I'm gonna pass this on to her. We have a Mini Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I really like this primer. It personally breaks me out, so I'm not gonna hold on to this, but it's a great primer. It looks like this is probably a Mini NARS Laguna. Yes, classic bronzer from NARS in here. Benefit 24-hour brow setter. This is one of my favorite gel 
eyebrow setters. We have the Fenty Beauty Mascara. I think this one I will be giving away. I don't need any more mascaras, but you get a full size, which is awesome. You get a mini way leave-in conditioner. I have curly hair, so it naturally leans more dry and frizzy, so I love always putting in leave-in conditioners. We have a Kosas Wet Gloss, which I've heard great things about and I haven't tried, so I'm excited about this. And this I'm excited about. This is the Dr. Jark. It's a tiger grass color correcting product. And actually right now I have two really big red buggers. So I actually want to put these on top of my acne scars to see if it helps. Oh my gosh, this is one of the best sets that I've seen from Sephora. I'm definitely going to pick up another one for you guys. And I'm going to give it away when I start my membership. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll explain it in a few days in a video. But this is a fantastic gift. Really excited about this. I normally don't get these sets so much anymore because I have such a diverse collection, but the fact that I have the collection that I do and the amount of makeup that I do, and this excites me and I see a lot of products that I'm going to keep for myself, says a lot about what a great set this is. So even if you are thinking of gifting this to a makeup lover, I highly recommend this. If I still like it and I still am keeping it for myself, I just feel like that's that speaks volumes. Okay, the next item that I got is from Laneige. I tend to always pick up at least one of these during this promotion. I love these. I love sitting these by my bedside at night. So this is the lip sleeping mask and I got a new scent to try out. Tis the season, so I picked out Ginger Snap. They also have like a peppermint. Can't ex exactly remember which one it was that I'm considering getting. It smells so good. I was really worried that this was gonna smell artificial, but it doesn't. It's like, it's not an overwhelming scent at all. It's not too caramely. You can tell it's a ginger snap scent, but it's subtle. It's not too much. It doesn't smell overly artificial. And I love these. These really work as far as the hydration on my lips. I don't really have dry lips nowadays. It's because I put this on every night before bed. I love all of the flavors that they have. So this is one of their new flavors for the holiday season. I'm really excited about it. I picked up one skincare item. I'll repurchase this over 10,000 times. <laughs> this is the Ola Henriksen Glow dark spot toner. I picked these up during this event always. Guys, so I strayed away from using this for a period of time because I was just testing some other skincare and I had some friends come in so I am doing damage control right now. So I needed a new one. This is what keeps my acne at bay. Whenever I'm using this regularly, I find that my acne barely comes and if it does, they're tiny little zits, nothing crazy. This has completely transformed my skin. I've talked about this a tr trillion times over on my channel because this is one of the only skincare products that I have seen pretty immediate results with. So I love this. Um, and it's great for dark spots, fine lines, wrinkles, skin texture, which is something that this definitely improves. It also helps my skin texture. I have a lot less bumps on my face when I'm using this. Yeah. I love this. My favorite skincare product. I talk about it every Sephora savings event video because game changer for me. Let's get into the goods, the makeup ease. So <laughs> I picked this up because I had FOMO. I've heard so many good things and bad things. So I had to be the one to judge. I finally picked up something from Lys Beauty or LYS Beauty. So this is the Triple Fix Serum Foundation. Really excited that I finally got my hands on this. I picked up MN3 and in the component, I thought that it might have been too light, but it actually is the perfect shade for me. So snaps to me for being able to pick blindly on the website. Anyways, for some reason, I thought that this was going to be really full coverage and cakey. I, I have nothing to back up that theory that I had. I've only been wearing it for about an hour or so now at this point, but it's really skin-like and it was a lot more, not sheer, it definitely had a medium coverage, but I could see my skin underneath. You can see like my freckles are still able to be seen. My skin showing through, it has that medium natural finish to it. It's really pretty. I'm gonna have to see how it wears, but on application, I think it looks really skin-like and it's gorgeous on the skin. So I'm excited about this. I finally see the hype that you guys were talking about so we'll see how it wears but this was a great introduction to LYS Beauty and I wanted to pick up a new foundation and this was the winner and I'm happy about it. Milk Makeup has been coming out with a lot of new products that have caught my eye so I picked up 
a few pieces from the brand. So this one was so intriguing to me. This is the Hydro Grip Eye Primer, and they actually market that this is not only an eyeshadow base, but it also is for the under eyes. So I used it all around my eyes today like a panda bear, and I, I can't really tell if it's doing really anything. I'm going to actually have to go through bigger measures and only use this on one eye and then try the other eye without it to see if this really makes a difference. I was worried that it would be like the Hydro Grip face primer which is really really sticky. It's not which is good so that means eyeshadow didn't get stuck on it. I, I had no troubles at all blending my eyeshadow. So I'm not really sure if this works yet. I love the concept behind it. It was just a really interesting product to me and I love milk makeup. So I'll have to keep you updated on this one. The next product that I picked up from Milk is the Sunshine Under Eye Tint in Brighton. And I picked up the shade 2. And I do recommend if you are around my skin tone maybe going a shade deeper because this is quite light. I mean, it was brightening for me. It works. I'm not going to return it or exchange it, but I feel like a little bit deeper would have been better. Uh, but this is like a slimmer version of the Sunshine Skin Tint Foundation, um, and I love the original formula of that. I haven't tried the reformulated yet, but I was super excited to try this as well. I love the roller ball applicator. I wish it was metal so it could be a little bit more cooling, uh, but it's really a lightweight consistency sealer and you have to go in knowing that I wasn't expecting too much in the way of coverage because this is milk makeup in general they're not going to give you full full coverage and it seems like a great everyday concealer so whenever I'm wearing something like a tinted moisturizer this is definitely going to be the concealer that I use I blended it out with a sponge I definitely found that it didn't get too much coverage then on the other eye I used a brush to pat it out and I did find I got more coverage but I still wanted to use that sponge to push it in just to create something a little bit more natural and skin like so so far I like it I do find that it is seeping into my under eye lines just a little bit but I definitely need to play with this some more because I'm very picky about concealers but it seems like a great everyday natural concealer the last product that I decided to pick up from milk was the bionic blush now this is a cream blush and normally I don't find that I reach for products like these a lot but I definitely wanted to judge this formula so it comes in a tiny cute little packaging like this. I picked out the shade Infinity and if you're looking for that sun-kissed kind of maybe a little bit sunburnt style color this is going to be the one for you. It, if, it's more of like a gel. It doesn't have the most pigmentation but it's really great if you're into the natural tinted moisturizer no powder kind of look. It's not typically the style of blush that I go for. I prefer something that's brighter and louder and a little bit more pigmented but if you you really like just the everyday little tint of color on the cheek hydration not setting with powder this is a really nice formula and even though it might not be my style of formula I can acknowledge that this is really pretty I preferred to apply this with my fingers so I used my fingers to warm it into the apples in my cheek it left the most beautiful and natural flush to the cheek added a little bit of mine on my nose got a gorgeous sunburnt kind of look and then I used my beauty blender to push it into the skin and I thought that the product blended beautifully into the skin for those makeup days where I'm just want to freshen up. This is really beautiful. I've heard some things about this powder and I got really intrigued and it's been a while since I picked up something from Makeup Forever. So I'm trying their Ultra HD setting powder and I must say I really like it on first wear. I feel like it really did blur my pores and just improve the overall look of my skin. Um, I think Makeup Forever did a good job with this powder. We'll have to continue to use it, try different ways of application, baking, setting, all of that. But on the first wear, I feel like it completely erased the pores in my T-zone area and finished the skin off beautifully. I picked it up in the shade Vanilla, so I'm excited about this. I feel like the few things that I've heard about it were very, very positive, and I completely am aligning with those right now. And the packaging is interesting because you actually kind of lift it up, so it's never going to be a really huge mess, which I am very happy about. And by the way, it also comes with 
a little poof, which is nice. I mean, I don't know how often I'll use it, but keep these for emergencies, you never know. I have had an infatuation with Laura Mercier blushes and I've been waiting for this event to pick up another shade. This is one that I wanted last time, but it was sold out. So these are the blush color infusions and I picked up the shade Fresco and this is definitely not my typical style of blush that I normally choose. So that's why I wanted it. And I'm normally a bright pink kind of person when it comes to blush, but this is very, very neutral, very wearable. There are some shimmers in here, but I really wasn't bothered by it. It's pulls not too warm, not too pink. It's just a great everyday natural blush. I especially think if you're on the light to fair side, you will really, really like this color. It's not like a color that I normally wear. It's quite different and very, very neutral, which I really like. So it's gonna go with every makeup look. So I'm happy to have this in my collection. I really do love the formula and the wear time of these Laura Mercier blushes. So they're just a great solid staple formula to have in your collection. Okay, this was a little bit of a splurge, something that I absolutely didn't need, but I've been eyeing months back, weeks back, I don't know how long ago, I said that this was a shop, and then I didn't hold up to that until today. So I finally picked up the Givenchy Prisme Libre Highlighter in the shade Organza. It's limited edition. It's a lot tinier than I thought it was going to be. This is just so cute, and like, let me show you compared to the setting powder much bigger but the packaging chef's kiss so it has a mirrored top and then it's just a cute little square and then when you open it up i mean you have a cute little Givenchy puff but how can you not be attracted to this you know this was all packaging for me you have a gold powder and a pink powder which you mix together and i have it on my cheeks right now obviously i don't know how worth it it is <laughs> It's interesting. It, it does emphasize my texture a little bit, so it's not my favorite finish, but the glow on it is stunning. So I'm gonna have to continue playing with this, just like everything in this video, all of this is first impressions. But like I said, I can kind of see my texture being emphasized and maybe like some fine lines right here, but then the glow is so pretty. So it's like only up close am I like, mm. but then I take a step back and I just see the way that this glows and it's beautiful. It's not like a glittery, finish at all it's super pretty so <laughs> and you guys saw the next product that i picked up this is something that's been on my watch list for a while i was gonna get it initially when it was going to launch and then i backed down because i saw some negative reviews on it but i finally took the opportunity to pick it up this is the urban decay naked cyber palette i'm really excited about this it's definitely not going to be everybody's cup of tea but i love the packaging of this i really feel like they did something different here i I've been kind of bored by the naked palettes of late and um, I've been waiting for Urban Decay to step it up and while I feel like they were almost there with this one. So the colors are very, very unique. There's not too many palettes out there like this. And it swatched okay. I don't think this is a palette that you're going to use 20 shades from to create a look. It's kind of like a one and done palette. You know, take two shades from here, put them on your eyelid and call it a day. It is what I'm wearing right now. So application was fine. The mattes blended really great. Some of the shimmers felt a little inconsistent to me, but again, I don't think this is going to be the palette for intricate looks it's just for a pretty glimmer all over the lid monochromatic like i said not going to be everybody's cup of tea so so far i'm liking this for what it is i went in knowing what kind of palette it was going to be i didn't look at this color story and think oh it's so versatile with all the looks you can create it's not one of those palettes it's just to get a pretty glimmery kind of look i will keep you guys updated on that this was something that i felt i needed in my collection nothing too exciting but i've just been wanting this basic from Charlotte Tilbury since I cover Charlotte Tilbury so much on my channel. So this is the Exagger Eyes Liner Duo and all it is is a black liner on one side and a nude metallic on the other side. I have this in four other shades. I don't think the formula is the creamiest, however, it does not budge. So I use these a lot just because they last forever. So I have the nude in my waterline right now just to open up the eyes and then I smudged a little bit of the black. Now if you are gonna go in with the smudging technique, you gotta work fast. Honestly, I'd recommend using a black eyeshadow over top because it dries down so fast. Like I said, not the easiest liner to maneuver, but it doesn't move after that. So I wanted a black eyeliner 
eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury because believe it or not, I did not own a black eyeliner. I thought I'd add this. Also from Charlotte Tilbury, I picked up the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray Duo. So this is one of the holiday kits that really excited me. This is my favorite setting spray for longevity. I really do believe it makes my makeup last forever. I believe it also almost perfects my face and smooths out the makeup. I don't know how. I have no proof, but I swear my makeup looks better every time that I use this. It smells really good, and I have this one, and I'm running low, so this was a really good deal. It came in really cute packaging for the holidays. This is what the holiday makeup season is all about. So I absolutely had to get this holiday set. You can't tell me how cute it is. It matches the Celestial Pearl Collection palettes, this outer part, so <laughs> I'm so excited about this. And it smells delightful. Favorite setting spray. I like it better than Urban Decay All Nighter. And that's really great. I use All Nader in my makeup kit. So the final two products, same products, different colors. I picked up two of the new Makeup by Mario lipsticks. Packaging, simple black cardboard that all of his other makeup comes in. I really like the component on this. It is a magnetic closure, which is just so satisfying. It feels really heavy, really sturdy. The first shade that I picked up is Cam. This is the one that I'm wearing today. It's more warm and peachy. These do have a matte finish. I do wish they were a little bit more hydrating. They do feel a little bit dry, but we'll see how they wear. And the other shade that I got was Rasa, which is a light, light pink. Really excited about this one as well. I'm a little lukewarm because they do feel a little bit on the drier side, but they apply with so much pigmentation. The colors that I see in the line are beautiful. And what I am planning to pick up are a couple of his lip liners to test those out and see how they work with these. But I do think I need a gloss to finish these up just to feel a little bit more comfortable. But I mean, yeah, that's... That's all I picked up so far. So the majority of the stuff was stuff that I wanted to test out for you guys before the event so I could let you know my thoughts and I will continue to keep you updated. Really excited to make more orders. We have a lot more Sephora holiday event content coming up. Recommendations, wish lists, shop with me, hauls. If you can't tell, I'm excited. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Hope it helped you create your list. Let me know what you are thinking of picking up down below in the description box. And again, a huge thank you to Sephora for sponsoring this video. And make sure you guys shop the links down below in the description box. I'm sure there will be a lot more links leading you to the event as well. And I look forward to the upcoming content. So I hope you guys have a good one. See you in the next one.